Hello everyone. A couple of days ago we talked about vibration being the fifth dimension, so to speak, the fifth way to align yourself to reality and shape your reality by perceiving it in a specific way, by being in an emotional state that helps you see things in a specific way to cut the long story short and uh, uh, yeah synopsize it so three dimensions x y and z or x y and z i guess in cartesian world um what the other way around uh, time is the fourth dimension and vibration would be the fifth one so the question that arises for most would be what sort of vibration I, am I at on what sort of vibrational level altitude or uh, frequency am I on um, and of course this question doesn't come uh, free it has its own baggage of potential attachment or ideas that come bundled with some sort of hierarchy of, of vibrations but we're not going to deal with it right now right now i have an idea that i want to experiment with i want to um, share a trick that i use that i've learned uh, quite a while back in regards to spotting what what vibrational response what emotional response is triggered so if we start with the idea of the quieter you are the more you hear if you're thinking of a meditating mind and the surface of the lake is perfectly still there's no vibration at all it doesn't have to be you can receive any vibration you choose to or you can play on it like on an instrument all right so there's this perfectly still mind and this is our zero point this is the point of stillness from which we can listen to what's happening right, let's when you're meditating try to kind of grab that that zero point for for lack of better word that it's kind of point of perfect neutrality because sometimes there will be emotional situations when you're lost when you're overwhelmed and returning to this point somehow Pull, pulling on that anchor that you put in that point um, may prove super beneficial all right so we have the zero point next when you whatever happens in your life be it a, a relationship or a, an event an idea coming to your head um, yeah that's, that's pretty much the only way reality can interface with you uh, it will create some sort of emotional response and the vibration of you know what it's like two strings resonating together right right the string one string on its own it's this this is your zero point <laughs> hear the harmonic that's again um, but if you strike two of them this is what you create with this event um, with this person with this relationship with whatever happens to you right so if you're anchored in this anchored in this you can always relate to unless another instrument is causing a harmonic distortion uh, you can always relate to that right okay so the trick is 
to capture what sort of resonance is created with these two strings. One could say that the person consciousness does not exist in isolation. It has to have an outside world to perceive, to relate to, to inter interact with, in order to really experience consciousness. Uh, a poet would say that uh, we need other people to see the reflection of your soul in the other person's eyes. And that's the resonance that's created between those two strings. All right. So how to capture that is the first impression. It's that split second moment in which your brain uh, encounters the, this, this relationship, this whatever. If you, if you find yourself reacting with fear, with anxiety, whatever comes next will be not, not tainted, but will be playing a scale, playing, um, playing a tune in the key of fear or anxiety or whatever, or whatever the, the, the emotion is, right? If the first instance of, of um, and it doesn't mean that this, this person, this entity, whatever, whatever they are, they are, you know, some something low vibrational. It doesn't necessarily mean that. It may mean that you're not ready or that you are not influenced. That's that's a that's a binding word. That you are. Yeah, I'll have to go with influenced. By by something low demand, low low vibrational, right? Okay. Let's go back to those to those vibrations. Okay, uh, going back to how to spot it, right? First split second creates an emotional response. When you catch it, it doesn't necessarily mean that whatever you encountered is bad and you're and you won't create a meaningful. Uh, say music to overuse this metaphor with it but it is a starting point for you to analyze it all right so you grab this emotion and you ask yourself why you ask yourself why and of course there may be um, there may be some sort of resistance if this is if you feel resistance if you feel that your ego is trying not to talk about it then you know there's something to double click on there may be some um something to work through something where ego is conflicted with itself or with other parts of of what you are all right um let me find okay i'm thinking of going on public transport and i have a anxiety reaction and you catch that and your ego doesn't want to admit a weakness and goes like, no, I don't like public transport because I'm independent. And if you double click on that, uh, it turns out that the ego is anxious about uh, being in, um, in the same spot as strangers without an exit route, something like that, right? Uh, all right. So this is the vibration you create in in conjunction with something you encounter. Now, now, <laughs> the trick is now. <laughs> so, as we mentioned the three dimensions, the four, right? One, two, three, four, now. Vibrational dimension is also now. If you exist in space, this is where you're sitting, and you're sitting only now, you've never sat yesterday or tomorrow, the vibrational piece is also now, right? Tomorrow you may have a great day, uh, have awesome meditation session with profound epiphanies. Uh, but today, this is what it is. You have to go on public transport somewhere and 
I don't know why public transport. I, I don't mind public transport. Um, and uh, and that's that's what you're experiencing. All right. I guess I've exhausted the subject at this level. If I tried to dig into any of the details of that subject, I would just confuse it. So to summarize it, five dimensions. It's three dimensions for space, one for time, fifth vibration. Vibration is now, you are now, you are here. Everything is here now. Thanks for watching and thanks for being here.